Mmm, mams. Welcome back, everybody. Cactus Man. Uh, we have probably the most requested video since I showed these little mam seedlings uh, a few months ago. And that's how do you separate the seedlings? All right. Well, these guys have been growing for a few months. They're, they've been, I've been cycling them from uh, waterings and drying them out, watering and drying them out. Right now they are in the drying out cycle. As you can see, the dirt around the edges around here is really dried out and it shrunk down. Um, and you can tell that some of the seedlings, sorry, my light's not the best. I'm having used the flash or the, yeah, the flash on my camera to kind of help and aid but you can tell that uh, some of them are really, really tiny. And that's just because they're dried out. Um, and some of them are bigger than others. And maybe if I put it at this angle, let me try and get that a little bit focused. You can see some are bigger than others. Um, and that's, that's due to some getting choked out as well. All right. So what you're gonna need obviously is a pot full of cactus seedlings, obviously. Then you're going to need your Sure. Um, it doesn't really matter all that much. I'm just using some regular uh, topsoil with uh, some pumice. I'm not going crazy with the coco core or the the vermiculite or um, vermiculite uh, perlite. I'm not going crazy with that, and I'm not going crazy with fertilizer either. This is uh, basically just a, a grow out soil to grow it into more of an adult form. So you need that, and then also. Like figure out where it's at. You need a bunch more pots, which I don't really have a whole bunch. So I do that and let's get started. I hope the lighting's all right, guys. Um, like I said, the lighting in this room is horrible. And you just take out your seedlings. And there's a pretty decent little root structure in there, but let's take a look at what's going on on the side of these guys. You see some of those, some of those guys are reaching for the sun. Are reaching for the light and you can see how they are a little bit shriveled up it's because they've been drying out okay let's look at the other side some of those look a little bit better this guy looks really good right here really good and yes those are adult spines but I'm not getting stuck by them and they look really good so the key to separating the seedlings is Besides making a mess, do the exact same thing you would do uh, in my repotting store-bought cactus video, except just be a little bit more delicate, be a little easier, and slowly pick away. I'm hoping most of this stays in focus so you guys can see uh, a nice crisp picture of this. I'm going to try and do it as quickly as possible. You see there's a root sticking out right there already? That's a nice long root for a seedling. So you just just be careful um, you could do it wet or dry uh, this just happens to be the uh, cycle that they're in in the, the drying out cycle so let's uh, just keep going at it very carefully see I'm getting more and more roots down there it's basically the same thing you just want to be a little bit more careful that's that's about it I mean you look at them and you're like oh my goodness I don't want to destroy that uh, seedling, cake of seedlings, but you do got to separate them. Um, obviously, if you have one or two germinate, then you don't have this huge problem, and you can leave them in the pot a whole lot longer. But these guys are choking each other out, and they need to be separated. Um, and it probably would be easier if it was wet. It would probably come apart a lot better, especially because I just used some regular old, uh, potting soil for this. I can see there's a chunk of peat right there. I don't know if that's in focus. Don't pay attention to my dirty hands and my fingernails. Um, but look at that. Just peel it right apart. Say bye bye to the perfect cake. Okay. And I'll set that to the side right now. We got another one right here. Set that to the side. You know, whatever method works the best for you, just set them to the side. 
So you get most of them broke down into smaller groups or by themselves, and then uh, then break the smaller groups up, depending on however many you want to plant per pot. Okay. Um, and another thing to take into consideration when uh, repotting these bad boys is like a, a man prolifera like this, you can stick this whole thing right here in a pot since it's a clumping cactus. Um, some other plants, some other cactus, you know, that are solitary plants. If you put a bunch in together, one, they'll probably choke each other out. And two, they won't look very cool. So, see, just breaking them apart. And there's actually pretty decent root structure on these things. Let me try and get this one by himself. There you go. There's a singular seedling right there. And once he gets in his own pot, he's going to fatten up and get short and fat. So I just keep going if, if the, you know, if you want to. Like I said, you can plant this whole pot together or this whole clump together right just like this in a pot and get a nice a nice turnout since it is a clumping cactus all right so there you go some of them have smaller root systems like that one right there I'm pretty sure I didn't rip any I could have but it's a smaller root system and you see these guys are thirsty I think I'll do another video on one of my other pots after I water it and let it soak up some water Okay, here you go. There's more right there. Just so you guys can see cactus seeds. Or not seeds, but seedlings. Whatever you want to do. Don't be don't be gentle. Well, be gentle, but you, you are going to have to rip them apart. See, there's one that actually got choked out and died in there. I don't know if you can see it. It probably doesn't help that uh, I was drying them out as well on this go-around, but... You know, I have plenty to go. All right. That's awesome. Nice little fat, dense cluster of plant. So I think, I think I'm going to go ahead, since I'm limited on pots, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, leave these guys the way they are in their little clumps. Let me try and get the camera to focus. One, two, three, four. And this guy by himself to show down the road what a singular one looks like and obviously they pop out so you know this one right here will take definitely take a little bit more long to fill an entire two inch pot than any of these but you know it will I got a few clumps here uh, that one's coming off so let me go ahead and take that off this one's got a real nice root system here all right, so that's basically it right there, guys. That's how you separate them. Um, if you do this too soon, obviously they are too fragile. But I know these guys are are tough. These these guys, have, uh, they're ready for it. They've been uh, taking up water and drying out like champs. So you know, you just get your little oh, as I crush one. Just get your pot your soil whatever mix you decide to to make now remember if you make a a mix that holds water you're going to be watering it less and if you make a mix that uh dries out quickly you're going to have to water it more especially more often than you know if it was an adult cactus just because yes you can dry these guys out but they're they're not ready to, to be completely dried out all right and as usual there's plenty of moisture in the soil right now so these little guys will go a little while before getting uh, watered by me maybe maybe a few more days all right so they have plenty of room let me do another one let me get this single guy by himself a little bachelor let's get this little bachelor his own little bachelor pad come on all right and I do apologize, guys. I wish I had better lighting in here. But it is a rainy day. It has been raining every single day in Florida. It has been disgusting. So I'm stuck inside. So I just make a little hole for him. Get him down. Look at that. Look at this little guy. 
And then obviously, as well, when you have a little tiny cactus in a big old pot, you're definitely going to go uh, more times, or more days between waterings. Because this is just a lot of water that would be held in the soil for that one little guy. Look at him, he's so cute, little bachelor. Alright, so everybody keep your hands, or your fingers crossed for the little bachelor. We'll see how he does. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pot the rest of these up. And I'll be back. Alright, so we got them all potted up. Uh, I rank, kind of ran short on pots right now. So as you can see, I had to put a few clusters together. No big deal. There's plenty of room in these pots. Plenty. We got our little bachelor here. We got another little bachelor over here, but he's got some neighbors. And, you know, if you want to pot your pots like this, and, and just do whatever you want. Don't let anybody tell you anything else. If you like the way it looks, don't let someone tell you it looks stupid. Just don't do it. Don't listen to them. They're your plants. They're your babies. You're the one that put the hard work and dedication into getting these cactus seedlings to where they are right now. So plant them the way you want them to be. Plain and simple. Now with these guys, it doesn't really matter because next year, this whole pot's going to be filled. Uh, you guys have seen a few other pots of mine that are just completely filled. They grow rampant. But, like I said, if you wanted to, you could split up every single one of these and have their each individual pot. I don't have that many pots right now. They're being used. And I lost a few. They do get old and crack. Um, if anybody has any questions on these, on, on separating your cactus seedlings, uh, go ahead and ask. Um, the comment system is kind of broke. Sometimes let me know when somebody gives a comment or asks a question. Sometimes it doesn't. So hang in there. And, uh, oh, one more thing. What do I always say after you do something with a cactus? Don't put it back in direct sunlight. You just traumatize these guys. Give them a few days before you put them back in the direct sunlight. Go ahead and acclimatize them. Make sure they're okay, all right? Just give them some time when you give them sun, before you give them direct sunlight. You wouldn't want to go in and uh, have surgery and then just get rolled out and stuck in on the beach in Florida and just cook in 98 degree weather. Uh, so you probably wouldn't bounce back too quick. So do the same for the cactus. The little seedlings, they're so cute. All right, guys, hope uh, hope this answers a lot of questions. You know, you just go ahead and do it. Separate them. Have fun with it. And as always, happy growing. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for when these guys grow up. Run out of soil. Got to make more soil mix. Got to use more of my precious plumes. That, 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 oh, where'd this little guy come from? Where are you running off to? Break and soil mix. Break and soil mix. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Has Cactus Man lost his brain? No, he just gets happy when he's messing with Cactus. He's a crazy dude. See something crazy? Some of y'all might not believe this, right? This to me, over here, this is better than ammo. Cactus ammo! I love it. Make your cactus soul. Make your cactus soul. Thank <laughs> you.